Hi and welcome to Drummers Review. I'm Nolly and today we're looking at a pair of De Broisi custom stave shelled snare drums. De Broisi is a relative newcomer onto the UK custom drum building scene, with their USP being the use of upcycled and recycled timbers. With that in mind, we have two drums to show you today. We have a 13 by 5 inch, which is made out of recycled mahogany taken from an old school table, and beech taken from an old cabinet, and both of these are kind of from the 60s and 70s era. Next we have a 14 by 5.5 inch drum made out of American black walnut taken from an old dining table. In terms of construction these two do differ slightly with the 13 inch having a 12 mil thick shell while the 14 is slightly thicker at 22 mil. However both of these drums feature rounded over outside bearing edges with an inner 45 degree cut. In terms of price the 14 comes in at £649 while the 13 is £549. So let's dig in, take a closer listen and come back for more discussion afterwards. Our initial impression when we unbox these snares was that it's really cool to see the unique character of each of these pieces of timber. You can see, for example, the marks on the old bit of school table used on the 13. And in both of these drums, it's really nice to see the timber being given a new lease of life as a musical instrument. 
Up close, these drums have quite a homemade feel, with the lacquer, for example, being slightly rougher than you might expect to find in a drum at this price point. Something slightly different aesthetically with these drums too is the placement of the logo plate being adjacent to the strainer. My guess is that De Broisi is doing this so that you can see the logo from the side angle so that it's not being covered by the rack toms up front. Either way, it's an interesting look. Internally too, we were a little bit disappointed to see that some of the craftsmanship is not quite as well executed as we'd have hoped. For example, there's quite bad burring around the inside of the vent hole and the sanding around the outside of the bearing edge is not completely flat. However, the bearing edge itself is well executed and the drum tunes up very easily indeed. In terms of heads, both of these drums came with Remo heads on top and bottom. The 14 has a controlled sound, where the 13 has a controlled sound X on the batter side, and both of them have an ambassador clear on the snare side. Both of these drums also come with 24 strand Pure Sound Custom Pro steel wires. Both these drums feature generic tube lugs, triple flange hoops, and a basic but smooth throw-off system. We felt that the sound quality is where these drums really excelled. The 13 inch is a little firecracker. It's very dry, it's very loud indeed, and it's got a great crack to it without sounding choked in any of the tuning ranges. The 14 by contrast was wetter, still a loud drum, but a little bit more subdued. The use of 24 strand wires on shallower snares like these does mean there's plenty of rattle going on. So it might be worth looking into a few different options, dropping down to a 20 or even 14 strand wire to tame that a little bit if it's too much for you. As I kind of alluded to already, the tuning range is excellent with both these drums. And I was particularly struck with just how flexible the 14 was at the bottom of its range without getting zongy or bottoming out, while also cranking up to give a killer gospely pop cranked sound. Articulation is also second to none with these drums. They feel and sound great at all dynamic levels. Everything from the softest ghost notes to full-on rim shots felt very easy and responsive with both of these drums. To me, the 13 would make a killer pop snare, as well as being an excellent choice as a side snare alongside a lower tune main. The 14 is definitely a more flexible drum with its lower tuning range capability. It would be really well suited to everything from rock, pop, gospel, funk, even. This is a really versatile drum indeed. Obviously the concept behind these De Broisi drums is going to appeal to players who are after a really unique instrument. And since every drum is different and comes from a different heritage, you're going to have to talk to De Broisi specifically to find out what they have in stock and what might be suited to your kind of playing style. As we did mention, there are a few aesthetic and manufacturing issues with these drums. With them being serial numbers 5 and 11, it's clear that De Broisi is in its infancy, so we'd really hope to see these straightened out in future production instruments. It's clear that De Broisi does place a lot of importance on the authenticity and the ethos of these drums, so it's nice to see little touches like the hand signature on the inside of the shell, as well as the spec sheet giving loads of information on the provenance of where the timber came from. As great as the concept and the sound quality is with these drums, we can't help feeling like they are very aggressively priced. At £650 for the 14-inch drum, it's going to have a lot of competition from the premium offerings from major manufacturers, as well as other custom UK drum builders, some of which we've featured on Drummers Review before. With all of that said, it is worth reiterating that these are great sounding and feeling drums. So they're definitely worth auditioning if you're interested in a unique stave shell custom built drum. Really hope you've enjoyed watching this review video. Don't forget to comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time at Drummers Review.